Oh my! There's there's breaking news! on the Battle of the Potomac. There's breaking news in the wilderness region of Virginia, to be more exact, Chancellorsville. On April 30th, 1863, Union General Joseph Hooker crossed the Rappahannock River with 80,000 Union troops, approaching Confederate General Robert E. Lee's 60,000 troops, who were occupying Fredericksburg Heights. On May 2nd, General Lee took a daring move and split his troops in two. Confederate General Stonewall Jackson and 30,000 men went around to Hooker's weak right flank, destroying half his line. The most intense combat happened when General Hooker continued not to use his numbers advantage, instead opting to take a defensive position. This would hold for a few days. Again, Lee split his forces, which threatened Hooker's rear. On May 6, Hooker was forced to retreat and recross the Rappahannock. Ultimately, Union forces suffered 17,278 casualties compared to the Confederacy's 12,826. This battle is considered General Lee's greatest victory of the Civil War. However, Lee, Lee took, took an L. L. <laughs> because his most trusted general, Stonewall Jackson, was killed by his own pickets while scouting at night. This battle showed that Lee now possessed the strategic initiative which would lead him to the Gettysburg in a few weeks. And the rest is history! Fun fact! <laughs> Confederate Stonewall Jackson's body is buried in two different places. All but his amputated left arm lies in Lexington, Virginia. His arm was dug up and stolen from his family cemetery by Union soldiers. That's a wrap! How do I turn it off? It's not turned off. No. Ultimately, full time. Okay, I don't know. And it's frick. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>